Paul Thompson is the founder. He looked at what was available to schools at the time and, and it was, everything was textbooks. And he thought, you know, when you move on through your life and eventually, you know, you're out of school, into adulthood, you're independent, you don't go to a textbook to find your information. You go read newspapers, right? That's where you're still getting information about what's going on around you. And I love that he came up with this concept of let's teach kids social studies with a newspaper format. The kids love it. They get excited about it. We've got gamification with our online system and the kids earn coins, get to go spend those coins, while at the same time learning about civics, government, history, our country, what makes us the way we are. Now we've got stronger science products, health and wellness products, teaching kids how to live amongst other people in their life in a good way. So we have a lot of interesting problems to solve at Studies Weekly, and what I love is seeing all the expertise that all of the people in, that I work with, they come up with really creative solutions, and they come up with really smart ideas for how to take the standards from every state and turn them into really engaging and fun publications for kids. I'm used to looking at, at problems and, and figuring out solutions to those problems and solving them. That's also where the passion for most developers, I think, comes from, is the fact that they get to come in to a problem and create and build a solution to that problem. Not all states have the same social studies standards, and so we have to custom write articles and lesson plans to those. So there's a lot of researching, asking each other questions, getting feedback and ideas for lesson plans and so on. We're sending out and shipping and producing for over five million students every year. And so you think about, you think about like how many students that represents that are receiving this every year and learning, learning our material learning from our material, so it's pretty incredible. The team here is good at what they do. They're getting faster and more efficient at what they do. They get along while they do it. The people I work with, the people who I work for, it, it honestly is like a family. As we've grown and we've added new people, I feel like it's only it's only added to that, the amount of people that I just enjoy working with and collaborating with. We have a very friendly, very positive um, environment here at Studies Weekly, and honestly, it's just, it comes down to the people that we hire. They're, they're great at making people feel welcome and warm and that they belong here and that we're here to support them and help them be successful in their role. I think the biggest thing I love about Studies Weekly is the culture. And I think it's a culture that we helped create here but it's really a culture of people supporting each other and people wanting to see other people succeed. Our leadership team knows their group and they know what works and they're really good at inspiring and selling you know, our, our vision and why we all come to work. I'm fortunate that I get to sell something that makes a difference. And I think that drives our team. I think it drives most everyone in the company. To me, education is important, but I think a big part of why it is is the way it it empowers you and it fills you with, with a sense of satisfaction and joy, and I think we get to be a part of that, and, and we're learning all the time. You know, we're the ones who are, are sending this off, we're creating this for someone else, but I love hearing people say, I learned that from reading this publication that I was designing. I want to sell something that can really make a difference, and Stays Weekly makes that difference.